Hello and welcome on in folks. In today's video we are going to be hopping into a game called At Tony's. This is a little indie horror about a haunted pizzeria and things get pretty intense. This game will make you manage the incoming pizza orders while uncovering the mystery surrounding your family who are actually the owners of the pizzeria. I had a blast playing through this and I'm excited to show you what it has in store. If you're new around here, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. And with that, let's hop into the video. Tip, coffee is very tasty. Whoa. Okay. All right. What the hell? I should make some coffee. Uh, okay. Okay, and why two K? Okay. Apparently, this pizzeria will be going to the last employee. Kind of just disappeared. And now it's our turn to go run the fam. Well, not run, but work the family business. Empty. Okay. Why is there a blinking mechanic? I don't know if I like that. Okay. Who is it? Oh. Um. I don't like that. Stove has a mind of its own. Check it often. Can do. First shift. It's pretty nice. Hey, cuz, how are you doing? Sam wanted me to call you and give you a quick rundown for your first night. First thing you gotta do is grab the dough in the kitchen. We prepped it earlier, so you should be set for the night. Wood is under the oven. Throw in a log to start cooking. When someone makes an order, it will pop up on the computer. You also have the menu there in case you forget which ingredients go in each pizza. All right, that's it. I have to say, because you have some guts coming for the night shift. With all the stories about Tony, I wouldn't want to be there. Tony? Anyway, see you in the morning. What happened to Tony? <laughs> yes. Boop. And then boop. Boop. Timer. How long do we Um Oven Guide? 
Login. Read all instructions. Okay. Add logs. Check temperature using our temp gun. Where's the temp gun? Okay. Glad I looked at that. No orders. Ah. <laughs> Linda. Okay. Pizza. Linda. Quantity. One you. Okay, but what goes on it? Oh, tomato sauce, onions, mushrooms. <laughs> Got this. Oh, that's the wrong kind of cheese, isn't it? Where's the shredded stuff? All right, whatever. Where's the temp gun? Oven guide. Oh, we don't have fucking temp gun. No! Oh, it's sewed separately. Why? Okay, well, let's do this shit. Eats beer. Bam. Wait. Timer sucks. Said sixty seconds. Okay, this isn't so bad. Wait, why is it going that way? I really hope this pizza doesn't suck. Oh, it kind of sucks. Yeah. It looks pretty good. Oh, what? No, oh, God damn it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, uh. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, <laughs> stupid. Oh, and there's the box. Shit. Faster. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's bad. That's bad. This is fine. This is fine. Third time's the charm. <laughs> oh! It keeps burning! Fuck! What do we got? Ooh, five minutes. Okay. It's a pretty slow pizza joint. 
Probably because I'm here fucking up the pizzas. Okay. Oh, my dude. Hey, cuz, good job on your first pizza of the night. So from now on, you will get orders on the computer. Just take them as they arrive and try to get them all done. Okay. There are some other things I need to tell you. In the last couple of weeks, some weird stuff started happening, like kitchen equipment turning on by themselves, and we got a few leaks in the bathroom. If you ask me, I'm sure it's just some goofball who forgot to turn off water back there, but my mother insisted I brief you on this. Simple stuff, really. Just check the kitchen and bathrooms for anything suspicious. Easy, right? Previous guy that worked the night shift, you know? The crazy dude that jumped off the roof said there were some ghosts messing around in the pizzeria. We don't believe in ghosts, right, cuz? Mm. Sure. Pepperoni? Might be dumb, but just want to make sure. Beep, beep, beep. Oh! Um. Jesus. Oh. oh, that's not okay. Not okay. Um. Dude, dude, hurry, hurry. Oh, shit. <sighs> Hello? Hello? Let me guess, you're the new guy. The guy they picked to make the pizzas. Noticed anything weird yet? I bet you have. See, I called you tonight because I was almost certain they wouldn't end the night shift. There is nothing more important to the Falcos than money, and you are now milking their golden cow. I used to... well, I used to make the pizzas during the night shift. They probably thought <gasps> you I was insane or other stupid lies. You're the dude. What I did. There are things happening in this restaurant, and I can help you survive. Well, you could just run away and never look back. If you're even slightly like me, though, you want answers. How about I help you stay alive while you pursue them? Okay. Wrong order is one. A dream. That who I keep seeing. And Both.
Hey. Um. Hey. Hey. Elevator. Anytime now. Charge it. Charge it. Oh. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Rude. Rude. I'm just a dude trying to get to work. What the fuck? Sad story. I think there's some sort of connection between the old employee and this Annabelle person and some sort of curse. What? I got a shitty parking spot. Okay, not bad. The ropes. Hey, cuz. Good job yesterday. Customers were happy and we made some money. It's not as good as it used to be, though, with all the stories about the family. Business isn't booming, to say the least. All these ghost stories, and now the story with this guy that worked your shift... He said that he started seeing the ghosts following him home at night, like they were not happy he worked at the pizzeria. He was telling customers about it. Talk about bad publicity. I'll keep anyway, my mouth shut. Today you'll have to make some dough as we're running low. I took out all the ingredients already. Everything is in the kitchen. If you somehow forgot the recipe, it's on the computer. The password for the file is the year the pizzeria opened for the first time. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Oh, that's great. 
gonna fuck this up I already know Making the pizzas. All right, two done. One left. Okay. What happened? Have you ever wondered why there is nobody to be seen in the restaurant at night? Excluding you, I mean. The Falcos wouldn't step in the place at night. Did you notice how even the delivery guy wouldn't cross the door? They actually crafted the delivery window five years ago when Vince, the younger Falco kid, was still doing some deliveries himself. They are conscious of the wrongs passed down through their family's history and mindful of their own personal mistakes. I know who your father is. The fact you are working there is surprising to me. You may not have the name, but you do have the blood. Why did you come back? What do you seek? Are we friends or enemies? I don't know. I guess we shall find out soon enough. Great. By the way, did you start dreaming yet? I call them dreams, but they're more than that. I do believe that dying there would kill you here. A word of advice when you're walking in these dark corridors. Try to stay in the light. We'll talk more tomorrow. I'm preparing something for you. Something that may help you get the answers you seek, or simply bring more questions. Nice. Damn, bro. That's all I eat pizza? is Gina why 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 are they buried set across the street Miles with the latest developments unfolding in our town. 
Tonight marks a grim milestone as the prominent packing plant in our community shuts its doors and ceases operations. That's right, folks. The 17th closure in just three short months, leaving behind vacant buildings and silent streets. The downturn continues, with businesses like the packing plant closing down and the local economy on the verge of collapse. On another note, Fuck. Not okay. I'm trying to do some fucking laundry here. The mayor announced that he would not lift the curfew until the fog is gone. Great. We got some coins. Hey, cuz. Sorry for calling you on your cell phone. I just wanted to check in and see how you're doing. You got the email about Gina, uh... I mean, your mom, right? I know it's been weeks since, what? you know, but I still can't believe she's gone. I didn't really see her that much. Most of my time with her was after the incident with Annabella, and I was very young. Growing up, she was just a happy old woman. I don't know you that well, cuz, but one thing's for sure. I know she meant a lot to you. I'm sorry she had to go the way she did, and that you didn't get to spend much time with her before everything happened. I understand how tough your father can be, and I also respect the courage it takes to go against his authority to work in the family business. It's just surprising, you know? Out of all people, why would you want to come work here? I guess I should just mind my own business, eh? Yeah, you Keep should. what you're doing. I want to apologize about yesterday. The mysterious play around friend or enemy is not the kind of thing I usually do. I guess I just wanted to know where you were standing, hoping I could get some words out of you. I'm still puzzled about the reason of your presence. Let me give my best guess. You probably feel like your father is holding you from this heritage, this family that should be yours as well. Gina, she was your mother too. Back crazy, sure, but still your mother. And once upon a time, your father's wife, even if that time is long gone. Who wouldn't go crazy after suffering two distinct deaths? First your husband, then one of your daughters. Terrible tragedies that occurred twice in the same location. May also explain why your you father see. is so scared. But see, there is more kind to of. the story. Annabella, she told me what happened. She shall tell you too, if you're ready to listen. When I was working at the pizzeria, I found a way to talk to her in a more passive manner. It's some sort of ritual. It's a way to communicate with spirits and ask them questions. I actually left all the props needed for the ritual back in the electric room. I think it's time for you to unveil some of the secrets of your family. Grab the stuff I left there, shut down the power, and get started. I mean, you don't have to, but as I said before, I'll help you get the answers you seek. Are you ready to hear them, though? Okay. What? Ritual? That sounds like a terrible idea. Oh, this looks good. Oh, great. May you swim in the blood of the shadow? What the fuck? One, two, three, four. Holy fuck.
Oh god. Okay. Okay. Light, okay. Okay, so now the... Okay. That took way too long to solve a simple riddle. Bloody truth. Oh my god, dude. We gotta clean this shit up. Fucking disaster, dude. I'll grab my keys? Why are you asking? Oh, and my phone. Time to go to my favorite place. Does that work? Dude... Oh. This is fine. We're okay. Glad we're getting out of there. The encounter. Should. Do you know you're part of the 5% of the population that currently has a cell phone? Some researchers speculate that we'll all own one at some point. I'm not sure about that, to be honest. I feel like we're losing something. Feels like talking to the dead to me. That's not why I called you. Okay. The ritual yesterday got Annabella quite disturbed. I'm assuming you've already seen a few things that are out of place. This is only the start. A little Great. bit of advice here. As you probably remember from the ritual, Annabella doesn't like to be looked at. If you get in a situation where you're facing her, just turn off any light source and look the other way. That's probably the only way you'll get her to leave you be. Well, that's mostly theory. You'll know if it works soon enough. Ah, okay. Thanks for the heads up. What do you got here? A lot of lights. This sucks. I hate this so fucking much. Oh my god. Oh, <sighs> 
Oh, fuck this. Ah. Oh my God. Holy shit. I just wanted to make some pizza. Whoa, that was weird. Hey Joe, I am sorry, but this is going to be your last night. Uh. I know this is important for you, but I have to think of my mother. Yesterday, your father showed up at our doorstep and he threatened my mother. He said really horrible stuff and things he would do to her if we don't fire you. I just think you should know that stuff. Your father can't do that without consequences. I was really scared yesterday, and my mom was too. After he left, she cried all night. She seemed so scared, I don't know what he said to her to make her so afraid. You know, it's always been difficult for my mother. When I started working back at the pizzeria, I was happy because I felt like I could finally support her and bring a bit of peace in her life. She never complained or said anything, but I know it's been hard for her to raise me on her own. From the moment I was born, she was all alone, and she never gave up on me. I'm telling you that in hopes that you understand my decision. You and I, we never got too much time together. The way our family pushed you away wasn't fair. You may not be my cousin in blood, but you deserve to be part of our family as much as anyone else. Tonight will be your last night. Just make sure to close the shop once you're done with the orders, and I'll come grab the keys tomorrow. Take care, cuz. Wow. You're not even going to wait till the end of my shift to fire me? That's fucked up. Ah, uh, what do we got? Pack tonight. Holy shit. Three orders at once. Okay, Mamas, Stagoni, Mamas. Tomato sauce, mozzarella, onion. Oh. Then one day, she guided me through a dream. 
At least, I thought it was a dream. After my jump, I opened back my eyes, and I was back at the restaurant. I had a new purpose. She told me to wait, that you'd come soon, and that we needed to show you the way. I'm trapped now, the same way she is. You can still correct it. You have the power to burn this place down. Let us rest for eternity. You can also walk away and abandon your family. So what is it going to be? See you in another dream, friend. Easy. <gasps> no! Ha! Ah, suckers. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. For real? Okay. Hey Joe, I am sorry, but this is going to be your last night. <laughs> Before you go, I'd like to tell you a story. My story. My name is Lucas Dimas. I started working in the pizzeria a few months ago. It started fine, just like any restaurant gig, if you skip the weird delivery window. After a few days, though, I started seeing things. At first, it was just some pans falling for no apparent reasons. Gas stoves being turned on, oven getting ice cold minutes after I would light it. After the first week, she showed herself to me, Annabella. She was so gorgeous, beautiful in her own sadness. I felt driven to learn more about her, to share more time. I was fascinated. How could a ghost make me feel so much? I started dreaming, like you did. It felt good. I wanted to feel more. That's when I came up with the ritual. That's when she told me her story. What your father did to her. What he did to the family. With time, I couldn't do anything but fall deeper in love with her. Then one day, she guided me through a dream. At least, I thought it was a dream. After my jump, I opened back my eyes, and I was back at the restaurant. I had a new purpose. She told me to wait, that you'd come soon, and that we needed to show you the way. I'm trapped now, the same way she is. You can still correct it. You have the power to burn this place down. Let us rest for eternity. You can also walk away and abandon your family. So what is it going to be? See you in another dream, friend. So what happens if you go out this way? shit or will you okay never knew making pizza could be so fucking scary <laughs> <laughs>